Okay, so there's a lot of a lot to talk about. This video is about the announcements that were made today. I'll be covering the shows or movies that were either announced or big announcements that were made about them. For example, there was nothing said about the Wonder Man show, which is weird to me because the Wonder Man show got announced like a couple of days, not a couple of days ago, like a week or two ago, but nothing is there to cover, cover on Wonder Man. Also, I might make a second video to this scene, the fact that Comic Con's still going on as well for the animation announcements I didn't cover because animation, although I like it, and I really, I really, really like the X Men '90s show, but it's not, a, but it's not as big to me as I think the movies and TV shows are. No hate towards anyone who loves those things as much because I really like it. For example, I really like What If, but when it comes down to between like What If and the other Disney Plus shows, I think What If is probably my least favorite. Even though I really liked What If, it's just not the same as live action to me. You you know what I mean? It's just not as big. Even though they can actually have a bigger budget, so technically it is bigger than... Okay, I'm kind of contradicting my further statements. Let's just get into it. Okay, let's be... Let's just be open. The biggest of the announcements by far is, of course, Daredevil. And you have no idea how excited I am for this. Or maybe you do, because I'm betting a lot of you are really excited for this, too. He also popped up in the end of the She-Hulk trailer, fittingly so, since they're both lawyers. The two have bumped heads in the comics, too. The name of the series, well, of his series, not the She-Hulk series, is Daredevil Born Again, which I think is, in my opinion, an okay name. I think I would prefer maybe something like Shadow, um, Shadow Thing. I forget what it's called. But, you know, I don't know if Born Again is the best title, but I'm still, I'm still excited to see Daredevil come back. Both Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio will return as Daredevil and Kingpin. There's also a rumor going around that Jessica Jones will also make an appearance. It won't air until spring of 2024. Wow, is that a long time? But I'll be waiting, and I'm sure a lot of the people will be too. There's yet to be any word if Karen Foggy, Bullseye, Stick, or Electra will show up. But how can they not? I mean, I guess I can kind of see Electra and Stick, you know, being absent. But Karen Foggy and Bullseye, like, they have to appear. But yet again, if they don't, I'm sure... Everyone's going to watch it. I'm 100% going to watch the show either way. If Even if Daredevil and Kingpin are the only characters that return, I'm still going to watch the hell out of the show. Just, yeah. I'm really excited for it. It's Echo for two reasons. One being Daredevil. Like I just said, Daredevil is a character I really like. But the second, well, not just like I love his character. The second is for Echo. As a Native American nerd, I am really excited to see representation that isn't a racist stereotype like Apache Teeth. On top of that, Echo was a great character from the Hawkeye show. Both Daredevil and Kingpin will return here too, and it will drop on summer of 2023. Also pretty far away, unfortunately, but I'm like Daredevil, I will be waiting for this, 100%. Finally got a title for Captain America 4 that is a New World Order. Sounds like some kind of Hydra stuff to me, which is weird, because I'm pretty sure Hydra just has been defeated like three times already, but I'm open to see them come back. There was a leak design art that shows Sharon Carter will also appear in this, in her white suit from the comics, which, I mean, a lot of people hated Sharon Carter on the show. There was even memes about it, how her, um, the Tyler guy from WandaVision, Ravana were the most hated comic book characters, uh, like, not comic book characters, but ever, like, live action comic book characters ever. I didn't feel the same way as um for Ravana and her. I actually like both of them. I just didn't like Tyler. <laughs> I really like Sam Wilson as the new Captain America. I know a lot of people wanted either Bucky or use Asian to take up the mantle, but in my opinion Sam is the best option as unlike Bucky who I think is although he definitely has a control. I think US Agent and Bucky both have, are a little bit of a loose cannon, especially US Agent, not really Bucky anymore, but I would still be a little bit worried over the fact that some people believe Bucky is assassinated the Wakanda King. So uh, I don't think that would really work well for a lot of reasons, actually. But that's just one. And I think Sam also, on the other hand, is much more compassionate towards those who need help. Well, Bucky, I think, is a little more harsher with things, which isn't a bad thing. I love Bucky, but I don't think he's the right fit for Captain America. And Bucky. Next, we have the Thunderbolts, which I he's been a member of and the leader of, which I think should continue in this movie because I, like I said, I really like Bucky, and I, although I don't want to be Captain America, I think he definitely has a future in the MCU, and I think the Thunderbolts could definitely be where it's at. Which 
And this sh movie, I just can't wait for. Wait, is it a movie or is it a TV show? I've seen people on the internet claiming it's a movie. I've seen people on the internet saying it's a TV show. On the main forum, it says it's a movie, so I'm going to be a movie. There's yet to be any reports who's on the team, other than, yeah, just not, I was supposed to say other than so-and-so, so but there, no, there hasn't been anyone. But guessing from who Val's been recruiting, I'd say Yelena and U.S. Agent are a safe bet. Well, I think Ghost, Baron Zemo, and Abomination are in it, too. And I would say that maybe even Hawkeye and Bucky could be here, as both members have both characters have been a part of members of the team. Although I could see them only wanting to use one of the two, I would prefer I think Bucky over Clint because I think Clint works better. He hasn't really shown any kind of um, villainous traits, unlike the comics where he started off like a villain. Where Bucky I think has a lot to make up for, and I could see maybe Val trying to talk him into joining, or maybe he joins volunteer, um, you know, willingly. But either way, I hope Bucky shows up in this, because like I said, I really like Bucky, and I really want him to appear. Because I really liked him on the team in the comics, too. I think it really worked, even though I could tell that some people, I know that some people didn't like it. And I could also tell that there's also a difference between Bucky in the comics and Bucky in the movies, or well, MCU. As Bucky in the comics is a lot more like Red Hood, while in the MCU, he's a lot more, he's a lot more heroic. He's still being harsh, but definitely not as you know, harsh as he is in the comics. But either way, I really want him to show up. Some casting announcements about Ironheart, none of which I think is too big. I've never really cared too much for Ironheart. I'll certainly watch it, but when it comes to a newer generation of heroes that have appeared in Marvel over the past decade or so, Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, and Miles Morales, in my opinion, are the best. House of Harkness was renamed Agatha Coven of Chaos, which is a much better name, in my opinion. We also got confirmation that Secret Invasion will be far more serious than recent other... Um, recent shows uh there's not much about either of the shows um i'm really excited for both of them i'd say secret of Asia a little bit more than agatha house well, okay agatha kevin of chaos not how agatha the house of harkness anymore which i still prefer the name kevin of chaos a lot more than house of harkness because house of harkness i thought made it sound kind of generic or coven of chaos although it's still a bit generic i think is in my opinion a little um how do i say a less like um, bland than House of Harkness. Secret Invasion is a um, uh, you know a big event in the comics, and I find it really really strange that they're deciding to make it much much smaller with Nick Fury. But I love Samuel L. Jackson. I love his version of Nick Fury, and I love Talos. So I'm really excited to see them in Secret Invasion, even if it's nothing like the comic book storyline. Maybe it's going to be leading into the comic book storyline, but. I don't know if they should have called it a secret invasion. I think I would have called it like Agents of Sword. But either way, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Confirmation that in Ant Man Quantumania will be a that it will be a comedic type movie, which makes sense to me, although I can see some that might be putting some fans off due to the fact that uh Thor Love and Thunder was so heavily comedic and a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I personally thought it was okay. There were certain jokes I didn't like, but overall I enjoyed the movie. Uh, Ant-Man Quantumania, we do have confirmation that MODOK will be the main villain, which is surprising to me because I thought it was going to be Kang, but Kang apparently is going to be like a background villain, kind of like how Thanos was in the Gar first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. While we also got confirmation that Cassie, who was recasted, will also become Stinger, and we got a concept there for that, which I think looks a little bit, in my opinion, I think her costume looks a little too much like the Wasp, just purple. But it does make sense seeing the fact that in comics you become Stinger, which is exactly, practically just Purple Wasp. Although she does have some, it is interesting, because she's been both Stinger and Stature in comics, but Stinger is technically from the M, like the M20, is it, what's it called? Like the M, I forget what it's called, but you know, like where Mayday Parker and all those characters? That's where she was Stinger, but in the main universe she was Stature. But she later became Stinger in the main universe too, because a lot of people didn't like the name Stature. So it seems like they're going to be incorporating her as Stinger in the MCU, which I'm really excited for, and I do prefer that name over Stature. I got confirmation that the High Evolutionary will be the main villain of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, well, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, although that was a rumor, like, dated way back in the day, not dated way back in the day, but, like, for the past three years, that's basically what a lot of rumors have been saying, that he was going to be the main villain, and he is. We also got uh, confirmation that there will be more than one Guardian of the Galaxy member that will perish, and that Cosmo the dog, who did appear in the first movie, will have a far bigger role and will be gender-bent to being a woman. Not a woman, but to be 
Not that sounds weird. It's a dog who's going to be a female, a female dog. She's he, she's not going to be a human woman. I mean, like, a, okay, I'm taking way too long to talk about Cosmo, aren't I? Either way, I uh, I don't know much about Cosmo actually. I know what they're base what he or she is based off of, but I don't really know them from the comics too much. But I am really excited for the High Evolutionary. I really like their character, except for that whole weird Scarlet Witch retcon thing. I like him as a Spider-Woman villain, but I've never seen him as fighting the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'm excited for that. It's also rumors that Moondragon will show up, and that also Fela Vel, who I also made a video on recently, will also show up. The two are in an LGBTQ relationship in comics. Moondragon actually is Drax's daughter. Which makes sense, but for some unknown reason, they named Drax's daughter in the MCU Kamara, which isn't her name from the comics. It's actually Heather Douglas. And also they say that Kamara is dead. But actually Moondragon in the, was originally thought to be dead, but she wasn't. So that kind of checks out when you think about it. Trillers that were dropped, that being Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and Shiel Attorney at Law. I thought the CGI for She-Hulk was much better, and we got to see a lot of other heroes. Well, the biggest one, of course, is Daredevil, which I geeked out when I saw it. There's also Frogman and some fairy that I don't know. The only fairy character from Marvel I could think of is Pixie, but I don't think she would, uh, you know, debut in a She-Hulk show, but maybe she would. There's also Butterfly, but I don't know if I would count her as a fairy character, but maybe it was her, but she was on Age of the Shield, so I don't know if they would have her on She-Hulk, and also she didn't have wings on Age of the Shield. Is that she just murdered people, calling them that she, they would be reborn as butterflies? That was a really weird. That was really weird. Although it was meant to be really weird. I really liked Agent of Shield. Unfortunately, it got canceled. <laughs> Hopefully, the same thing can't be said about these Disney Plus shows because the Netflix shows were also canceled. Unfortunately, which is also really sad. Why am I talking about this now? Let's just continue on. <laughs> For the Black Panther trailer, which was a beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman, we see that there's a new Black Panther who's most likely Shuri, I assume, but uh. Seeing what, you know, Leticia Wright's been uh, doing on set lately and tweeting, I would preferably think they should go with maybe a different direction, like maybe um, Okoye, I think, could make a great Black Panther, although that wouldn't really make sense in the lore of the show, not the show, the uh, movies. We also got to see our first look at Namor, which was a lot more comic accurate than I expected it to be, but definitely a welcome surprise, because I really liked it. Even though in the comics I always thought his elf was a bit too silly i thought the way that it was shown on the um in live action was surprisingly very how do i put it like it looked really good like i didn't think it'd be good but it was either way i am really excited for this movie i'm really excited for all of them and i can't wait for you know whenever any of these drop because to me to me these all look or not look well, because She-Hulk and Black Panther are the only ones that drop trailers. But they both look really good, and everything else sounds really good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.